All right, Uncivilized Vitalian, this is a, a short, hopefully 10 minute video about our charity uh, Bunko Night we've got coming up for the Uncivilized Living Foundation. We've, uh, we've got 24 of these tickets for sale. It takes place the second Wednesday of August this month uh, in lieu of our normal monthly meeting. And it's just to raise some funds for the Uncivilized Living Foundation. Uh, we just had our big annual camp. Funds are depleted, let's raise more funds. And Bunko is fun. So I'll teach you how to play Bunko kind of quick. Um, we're gonna have, we've got Bunko score sheets for the, the night and I've drawn one on the board. I'll show you how that works. And um, there are several, so many versions of Bunko. Uh, this is a cool book. This is the Bunko book um, by Stephen Pratt. And the back says Bunko Demystified. Bunko has been around for a long time. Several different versions of it. I'm gonna give you the simplest version and we will provide all the dice and the dice trays and the venue. It's all in the official um, Bunko night and we have prizes for all sorts of things. We have prizes for most wins, most losses, most Bunkos, most baby Bunkos, the last Bunko, all sorts of things going on. So basically here's how Bunko's played. Each table, let's see if I can draw this out for them, the video. So typically there are gonna be uh, 12 people playing. We'll have 24 people at our Bunko tournament. We're selling 24 tickets, yeah, but you can play with fewer or more and um, leave some comments below if you different ways you've played Bunko before and you can remember that. Bunko is even spelled uh, B-U-N-K-O, B-U-N-C-O, B-U-N-C-K-O, lots of different ways. So this is basically how it's played. So you'll have uh, team, two players on this side of the table, team A, and they'll be playing with team B. Over here you'll have two people, C and D, and then over here teams E and F. And the fun part about Bunko is it, um, you're gonna rotate new pairs every time. We'll call this the head table, all right? So this is the main table up here. So basically each team is going to try to accumulate 21 points to win the round. 21 points wins the round, and I'll explain how to do that. Once anybody in the room, and remember there'll be another 12 people here in our Bunko night, anybody in the room gets 21 points, the round is over. So let's say Team C gets 21 points. They yell out that they won and they're gonna, they're gonna ring the bell or blow the air horn, their signal or just yell round or win, and then everybody stops playing. Let's say over here at the head table, um, now, some people play where the rounds keep going until the head table wins, but we're just playing anybody that wins, uh, ends the round. Let's say team A only has 14 points and team B has 10. So team A would take the win, even though they don't have 21. And over here, E has 17 and F has 19. So F would take the win. So then on their scorecard, everybody would mark down their wins and losses. And then we would rotate. And then the winners at each table get to stay. So over here, we had team F1, and over here, team C1. So D would rotate to the head table, team B that lost would rotate to this table, and team uh, E would rotate to that table. So you'd get new partners. Not only that, when team E comes over to this table, because D moved, they lost, team C stays, one of the members from team C moves over a seat, so when team E sits down, they've got new partners. So now it's team CE. I know that seems confusing. Just hit pause, it's YouTube, rewind it, watch it again. And then that would happen at all the other tables. Throughout the night, you're gonna have a different partner every round. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, let's check out the scorecard. So this is the rounds, all right, or the rolls, it says. You're gonna have, um, it's cute how they have dice. Uh, round one, round two, three, four, five, and six. Because we play with six-sided dice. And you have a scratch pad at each paper, or each table, a scratch, a piece of scratch paper, and you designate one of the people on the team to be the scorekeeper. They take turns. So like if I'm uh, on team C and E, C might take score while E rolls, and then vice versa. And then every time you, you're rolling, you're gaining points, you just, on your scratch paper, you're just marking down your little hashtags until you get 21 points, then you'd yell, we win, okay? And the other team rolls. 
Now, uh, I'll show you how the rounds are played in a minute, but then you would, once the round is over, you could keep track of your, your scores in here, and then there'd be one win or one loss, depending on what your team did. And then you'd move the table, and you take your scorecard with you. You don't put the points on there. Just down here, like game one, if I was on team uh, D that had lost, I would put in game one, I have a, a loss. And then maybe the next round, I'm on a winning team, I'll put a W. And then maybe I have another winning team, another W. Then I have another loss. And then I have another loss. And then I have just bad luck, another loss. Then at the end of the night, one, two, three, four, I'd put four losses up here. And I'd count down my wins. All right? And then uh, there's other ways to keep track of who's playing who. And we'll keep track, we'll, we'll explain that at Bunko Night. But basically... And then after the six rounds of game one, we'd play game two, and then game three, or however many games we're gonna play that night, okay? I'd also, at the end of the night, maybe I've got, I had two bunkos, and I had three baby bunkos. So I'd keep those, uh, keep track of those on my scorecard. And then the scorecards, just so we showed you here, look just like that, okay? Just like I drew on the board. You keep track of all six of your rounds of game one, and then your total, game two, and you can use these in different ways. And down here, these sheets have the bunkos laid out where you can just check them off as you go. Total wins, total losses. Scratch pad just to keep track of the scratches to determine who wins. All right, now, how do you actually play the bunko? Let me show you. So we come down here, and we'll have a dice tray, and you have three dice, okay? So it's just like bridge or uh, euchre, here we're in Michigan, everybody knows Euchre. We have three dice and I roll the dice in the tray. Now, because we're in round one, ones are trump, ones count for points. So right now I have one point. So my partner would scratch down a one. I roll again, well, I get another one. So the partner would scratch down another one. And then I roll, I got another one. So the partner, I've got three in a row. Now I can keep rolling as long as I show up a trump. So now I have no ones left. So that's it. I move the tray to the next person uh, on the other team and then they roll. So it's kind of a fast paced game. All right now, and then I just get, my partner would be scratching one, one, one for the point. Sometimes I'll row two, um, two of a kind. Let's say I threw this roll and it came up with two ones. So I would say two. Out loud, one, one point, two, two points, because my partner's counting down, and then she'd give two hash marks. And we just keep going until we accumulate 21 points or the other team does. Somewhere along the line, I might roll three of a kind. This time I rolled three fives. That's a baby bunko, because I'm in round one, one is Trump, this is a baby bunko, it's three of a kind, and I get five points for that. So I'd say baby bunko, and my partner would write down one, two, three, four, five points. And then, because it's a baby bunko, I just, I get to keep rolling again. Now if I roll three of a kind of whatever is trump, that's a bunko. And then two things happen. Uh, the first is, I get 21 points for that. So that's an automatic round win because you only need 21 points to win the round. Some people play with 23 points and the Bunko helps but doesn't win. We're gonna claim uh, at Bunko Night, keep it easy, 21 points wins. So what I would do is that's a full Bunko worth 21 points. It wins me the round and gets me a Bunko for my score card. I'd put that in my column um, on my personal sheet that goes with me each night. But I would also yell Bunko and then I have to ring the bell or squeal the little horn or whatever noise makers we get. And then since I've won a bunko, the whole match is over, everybody gets up, we, we rotate our chairs, and there'll be a few of us there kind of helping everybody learn how to play bunko. We move chairs, we sit down, and then we begin round two. Because now, let me show again, now twos are trump. So I didn't get any twos, I moved the tray over. The next person to roll, one point, we got a two, all right? No, no more twos, next person would roll, all right? Nothing, next person would roll. Then I got a two, so I get a point, and because I hit the trump, I roll again. Another two, I get to roll again, all right? Another two, I get to roll again. Oh, 
because it's round two, so I had three points, I had three twos, but now I threw three of a kind, but I'm in round two, so that's a baby bunko. So I get five points and I'd get to keep going. And then I'm, my turn's over because I, I didn't get any more twos or whatever is the trump or sometimes called the set point. So and we keep playing like that. You play six rounds, everybody in the room trying to roll 21 cumulative with their team as fast as possible, collecting those bonus uh, five point baby buncos along the way or scoring a, a full bunco and winning the round and um, getting to put a bunco in their personal scorecard as they go around. The scratch pad is for counting up the points of the, the round at the table, and then those are crumpled up and discarded on the floor till the, the match is over. And then in your personal card, you're just gonna require or um, record a win or a loss, and then you can record the number you, that you won by or whatever for purposes of um, fairness later. But then you just keep track and you go all the way around, and there'll be probably different colored pens at the table. So if I have a green L, uh, I can track back when I was at that table with the green, there should be a green uh, W somewhere. Anyway, don't worry about that for now. But it's just, uh, that's the basics of Bunko. You're trying to roll with a partner to get 21 points uh, and you take turns, you gotta move kind of fast because everyone else in the room, is, there's another 23 people in the room trying to get uh, their team to win. And if you roll three of a kind, you get a Bunko, three of a kind in the non, uh, the non um, Trump round. Like if we're in round three, three threes would be a bunko, 21 points. I win, I get to hit the air horn, and I get a bunko in my sheet. If I roll four, uh, sorry, three fours, that's a baby bunko, I get five points and I keep playing. So it's uh, pretty much how it goes. Bunko is a very social game, and it's typically you would show up, if you organized a bunko party at your house, 12 people is probably the best. Uh, or you could play it with six. Four, you could play just a you know, a couple people playing different versions. But everyone shows up and throws in, you know, 20 or $30 uh, and they play Bunko all night and they use the money, the pool, some of it goes to the hostess uh, or the host who pay for the food and the snacks and the rest just gets divided up into prizes. So at the end of our charity Bunko night, we're gonna tally up the scorecards. We're gonna have prizes for whoever uh, had the most wins in game one. We're gonna give the most Bunkos. We're gonna give the most baby Bunkos will give um, the most losses a prize too, because sometimes you just have shit luck. What are you gonna do? And then uh, you get a prize. Um, there's also, we'll take a stuffy or a large dice. There's different ways to do it. Whoever yells bunko are playing, that person gets to hold uh, the pass or the, the bunko stuffy. And at the end of the night, when the game is over, at the end of the sixth round, whoever had that bunko prize last gets a prize for, uh, that bunko pass gets a prize for last bunko. So it seems overly complicated. Um, watch that as often as you need to, or pick yourself up uh, Stephen Pratt's The Bunko Book, which I liked because uh, it's about dice, and I enjoy dice. Um, dice are very interesting, one of the oldest, uh, probably the first game of chance that human beings ever had, definitely predates civilization. Uh, they're super interesting. <laughs> My wife's giving me the eye to not start talking about dice. Okay. Just Bunko. Charity Bunko Night. Uh, contact Bonnie or Gaitlin at uh, info at Uncivilized Vitality or uh, call or leave a comment. And we will, uh, if you're in the area, mid-Michigan, you want to play Bunko next week or two weeks, whatever it is, come check it out. Uh, that's it. Like, subscribe, comment how you played Bunko, and um, hit the like button.